All right, bro, what are you getting done today, man? So I usually get like a ball taper and a five all the way around. Five all the way around, ball taper. Medium, low. I still want to see like the, the C cup. The C cup? Okay. Yeah, so right. I guess low. Well. All right, let's do it, man. YouTube, what is going on, guys? He wanted to cut the top down to a number five. I think that's a number five. That number five. I, I don't remember. Usually, I have my colors uh, memorized. That's why I like the color guide. But I'm having a brain fart. But I think I'm using the number five all the way around. I'm using the Babyliss FXs. These are my custom joints with the Babyliss 245 battery. Those are coming out soon. I promise. I promise they're coming out soon when they do. Just know they're going to be crazy. So now we're going to start out our initial guideline. Because remember, he wanted like a lower to mid um, taper with the C cup. So we're going to try to make this as gradient as possible without bringing it up too high. And so we started off with the ball line, blade open. And now we're going ahead and blending it out. Starting off close, opening it a quarter of the way. Every quarter of the way we go up. Now we're going to go to our number one guard close. And the reason why I'm going close is because if I go with a number one open, I didn't feel like it was going to cut much. But I wanted to at least have a section I can focus on and blend out with this half guard that you see me using now. All right, once we've done that, we can open that number one guard up. And if there's a line from the one guard close, that's fine. Close your lever halfway to take that line out, that subtle line out. As you can see here, we're about halfway closed and we're taking the line out and we're, you know, we're switching back and forth, just focusing on spreading the blend out without bringing it up too high. So now we're going to go with our number two guard all the way open. This could or but should be the highest guard that we need. We'll blend that out or spread that part out with the one and a half guard. And I like to start open and close it little by little as I go down. The reason why I start out open and close it as I go down is to try not to bring this ta taper up too much. Because then we don't have a low to mid taper. The last guard I know I'm probably going to need is the three guard just because I see a little bit of a bulk um, above the taper area. Um, and then we can use a two open, two close. But uh, essentially I'm going to be blending down. Actually I went to a number four tested it wasn't doing much drop down to this number three guard and now the number three guard i feel like it's gonna really bring it all together and we'll blend down from this three guard with the two guard really bring it all together and i'm telling you it's gonna come out butter all right let's move on to this side i'm gonna do the same exact steps um and i'll let you guys follow along with the color guide on the bottom left corner And listen, guys, yo, ever since the um, the YouTube documentary that YouTube made um, for me, I'll put the link in the description below if you guys want to check out the YouTube documentary and the interview that they did. It's on their channel. Um, there's been, you know, different publications that's been reaching out to me, um, asking me questions. And I'm, I'm kind of like I never really was looking for, for that, for that type of attention. But I like it because it puts it shines a light on the barber industry. And that's one thing that I do enjoy doing. Now again, remember, you gotta be careful not to spread it out too much and end up having you know, a high taper with a C cup. Now for everybody, a, a low mid taper is different. I feel like it's very subjective, but typically I feel like in Florida or at least in Tampa, it's gotta be gradient. People don't just want a really a low taper that's gonna grow back in a few days or in a couple days people typically want to see some type of gradients and honestly i've won over some high profile clientele some athletes and stuff because of that um so you know obviously everybody got their own style but 
this has been working for me especially in my area and that's from learning that's from paying attention to the feedback i get from clientele don't be afraid to show them the mirror when you're done with the taper and say hey do you want do you want this taper higher right start off a little bit lower if it's the first time you cut their hair and ask them if they want a little bit higher they might say you know what for next time i want a little bit lower but i'll be back because the taper came out blurry and you asked so they know the next time they're gonna get what they want now he requested in the back here that i don't go close he wanted me to use a half guard um and it's because he his skin is sensitive back here he breaks out as you can see um and so we started off with the half guard which is fine because it almost looks blended out so half guard we opened it up little by little went up about a, a inch and then we went went ahead and grabbed that one guard started to blend out start off close open up little by little right Now I love to make sure that I'm blending in this angle, literally with this view, so that I can make sure that it's blended nice. And this is gonna set me up for success when I put that neckline, the line up on the neck, it's gonna make it look so much more crispy. So don't be afraid to lower this area down from that, from that angle. Shout out to my cousin Tito. If you guys want beats in the description below, there is a link where you can get a subscription and get five free beats, copyright free every single month, new. so I definitely want to lower down his hair in the front mostly just in the middle his corners you can see were already a little bit light so I definitely didn't want to do that and what I was pointing out there is that he definitely has like a light spot there I don't know if you can see it I don't know if it's a scar or not but what I didn't want to do was bring the C cup in too much because if I brought in the C cup and he lost the hair that's making that that bald area or that light area um, I would have to really push back his C cup and I didn't want that to happen so I made sure I, I try to stay as natural as possible with his C cup but still make it sharp all right so with this line I started out in the middle because what I wanted to do is have a reference point where I can bring up his corner as much as possible without pushing it too, too back so that the natural areas I had to push back even more. But I did wanna make this line here in the recession area sh as full as possible, as sharp as possible. Um, and so that's why I started in the middle of, the, of his front line. Hopefully I'm not confusing you guys. You guys can see how I'm sketching out that C cup. All right, and we're doing the same thing on this side. We're walking it over to that corner. This corner of his, this recession, is, is definitely fuller than the other side. Um, so what I was really focused on here is just making sure that it matched up with his other recession. And I'm not going to line up the, the bottom of the back of his neck because it, with the half guard, it does look blended. It's low enough to where it does look blended. Um, and if I line, up, line it up back there, he's, again, he's vulnerable to bump up. So, but I, I still think it looks pretty good. I don't know why, bro, but I've been cutting here 11 years. 
can I still be extra careful behind the ear? <laughs> Look at me, I'm taking my time, bro. I don't, cause I, don't, I wouldn't want to get cut in my ear. So I, you know, I'm extra careful on my clients. So we're going hands to cut, get his line as sharp as possible. His line was still clean, it was still symmetrical. We just making this thing pop even more. So we're using the Sean Cuts Hair Color Enhancement Card. You can get it at SeanCutsHair.com. Get this thing to the next level, man. And shout out to my guy, man. He came from out of town to come get a, a cut from your boy. I, I really do appreciate it, man. And uh, I hope you enjoyed your time here in Florida. Oh yeah, that tape is looking good from here. Hey. Guys, so check out the before. Check out the before. Now look at the after. And his hair wasn't really that long, but it's amazing what adding some gradients and some sharp lines can do to do, do to somebody, man. Make you walk out the shop feeling like you can conquer the world, you know? I need, to, I need to have this feeling a little bit more often. I never get a haircut. It's not fair. 